Hello everyone, welcome to part 4 of my fall fragrances series and today I will be talking about boozy, smoky and darker fragrances. Aside from the beautiful gourmands and florals and amber fragrances, I always think of boozy, smoky fragrances for fall time. So today I am going to be talking about those kind of fragrances. Most of these fragrances you've seen in my other videos. Some of them are newer to my collection, some of them I haven't talked about. So let us proceed with today's list. The first one is Suma Oriental by Unui Nomad. This is a very woody, spicy fragrance. It has cacao in here and some boozy notes, but this is very, very spicy. This one has rum, cacao, cypril oil. This has tonka bean as well, guayac wood, musk, and patchouli, and cashmere. So even in the base notes, you see that this is just a perfect fall fragrance with that guayac wood, musk, tonka bean, cashmere. It gives that very woody, musky, warm base. And the top notes, of course, rum and cypril oil and cacao. This one is just a perfect fall fragrance. Even the um, juice color just speaks fall and just screams fall to me. Um, this one, though, isn't really the safest fragrance for you to blind buy or to wear, especially if you're not a fan of very strong spicy fragrances. Even though you don't really see a lot of spices in the notes, but this one just gives off that kind of feel. Very dry and woody and um, dusty almost in a way, but I really love this. Um, this was in my wish list, my perfume wish list of 2020. And um, I almost bought a full bottle of this one, but good thing I decided to buy a travel size because um, this I feel like, you know, will last me a long time, especially for the scent profile. So this one, again, woody, strong, dusty, very spicy and musky and warm in the base. This is just beautiful. An adventurous fragrance to wear during fall time. Not really your typical boozy kind of a fragrance, you know, very sweet and thick and all of that. This is just dry and spicy. This is Sumo Oriental by Unui Nomad. The next one is one of my best blind buy purchases of 2020. This is Hot Couture by Givenchy and I have the EDP version. Um, this is a beautiful raspberry fragrance. It's raspberry, it has black pepper, but it just has this very smoky feel to it. I guess it's a black pepper that's doing that, but this one is just a very sexy kind of a fragrance. This has been around for quite a while actually, and I'm super happy that this is starting to be more popular here in YouTube. I bought this one because of Gabriella Francesca and Chantal Tiffany, and more and more people have been curious about it because a lot of more people talked about this fragrance. This has an EDT version which leans fruitier, but this one is more smoky and it has that um, cigarette smoke kind of vibe to it like sexy because of that black pepper and I always always love how Gabriella Francesca described this one um, it's not for everyone the way she described it it's just like um, that cigarette smoke out in the city partying and drinking you know but not the filthy nasty kind of thing but that very sexy you have your perfume on you have nice clothes you have your heels on and you went out partying but you know you have cigarette smoke on yourself and this is just nice. It doesn't have tobacco or any of those notes at all, but it gives you that vibe. And of course, we experience fragrances differently. That's how she described it. That's how she experienced it. And every time I smell this, I just have that kind of um, picture or image in my head as well. But as a scent, this is just a beautiful raspberry black pepper kind of scent, um, floral, and it has the sandalwood musk kind of base, which is just, you know, perfect for this whole scent profile. This is Givenchy's Hot Couture EDP. The next one that I have, this is not boozy, this is not smoky, but this is spicy. It doesn't have your typical spice notes, like for example, nutmeg or clove or any of that. But I, for this list, I just wanted to include fragrances that are dark and deep and that are more heavy in a way. This is Shagaf Oud by Swiss Arabian. Um, this has been very, very famous on YouTube last year and the year before that um, because this one is supposed to be a very close dupe to Oud Bouquet by uh, Mason Lancome, but I haven't smelled that, so I don't, I can't compare, I can't tell you guys if it really smells the same. This one is that Rose Oud Praline kind of a fragrance, and this is... Yes, it's very strong, okay? I have to be honest, it's very strong. And I almost choked myself testing this one the first time because I sprayed four times in the box and, and smelled it, you know. I almost choked myself out. But um, in the entrance, this can be way too much and it can be like, oh my God, what am I getting myself into? But 
Now that you know I have had my collection for a year and have been revisiting my older perfumes or my first purchases, I've been wearing this one again, especially now that we're on the cooler side and the darker side of the, of the year. Um, this isn't really that strong or that dark of a fragrance because um, you don't really need to spray much. That I have to say, you don't need to spray much, but one spray, a couple of spray just goes a long way. And as this one dries down, this is a rose oud fragrance. Um, some sweetness to it, but... Um, it's really, really very beautiful. Um, I really love it. Uh, I've seen this one sadly being decluttered in a lot of people's um, collection. And I guess it's because they prefer the original version, which is Oud Bouquet, or they have just outgrown this kind of scent because it can be too harsh or too sharp for them. But I still love this one. This is Shagaf Oud by Swiss Arabian. The next one that I have has a similar scent profile to Shagaf Oud. They're not similar scents at all. They belong to the same scent group, I feel like. This has rose, coffee, violet, and some woody notes. This is Tiziana Terenzi's Deluxe. Again, a beautiful fall fragrance that has that very, like, almost edible gourmand feel to it, but then not really. So that's why I included them in this um, list and not in my gourmand list. Because they're not really edible, but they're not really straight up floral as well. This is just a beautiful fragrance. I know this is similar to Intense Cafe, Roses Vini, and other fragrances, but... um. I decided to go for this one because, you know, what the heck, it's a Tiziana Terenzi and it was for an affordable-ish um, price. And it, this one is not really as expensive compared to the other Tiziana Terenzi fragrances. Um, anyway, this is a rose fragrance. It's nice. It has some coffee notes. It's not really a coffee scent. I thought this was a coffee scent, but it's a rose fragrance with some coffee notes and that beautiful iris or violet purple florals. I love this. And this is a fragrance that um, is perfect to wear during fall time because this is way too strong for spring and summer. And the fall time is just perfect for it because rose will bloom and blossom and you get more of the coffee notes. And this is just beautiful. Very sophisticated, very elegant, very confident kind of a scent. Um, not really that mature or like very like stiff kind of a fragrance, but this one has some sexiness to it. This is Deluxe by Tiziana Terenzi. Now let's go to some boozy fragrances. So th this is just a very random list, you guys. The booziest fragrance that I have in my collection is Jazz Club by Mason Margiela, the replica line. So this is, of course, just by the name, it smells like being in a jazz club. I haven't been to a jazz club. I don't know, but I just imagine like how it is like being in a jazz club or a gentleman's club. This has beautiful citruses on top, like lemon. It has pink pepper. It has clary sage, vetiver, and some boozy notes, the rum. So... This is the booziest fragrance that I have in my collection. And every time I smell this, every time I just, you know, see this bottle, I just imagine, you know, like cozy fall, you know, just being in a fireplace kind of a scent. And juice has gotten darker over time. I bought this one because of a collaboration I did with Yasmin. So um, yeah, I really love this. And the whole bottle, the whole feel, the scent profile, the booziness of it, the comfy, the cozy feeling that I get from it, just, just perfect for fall. This is Jazz Club. And another boozy fragrance that I have, this is a very affordable fragrance, you guys. It's leather, it's boozy, and it's fruity. It's my kind of scent. This is Fifth Avenue Royale by Elizabeth Arden. And this is a huge 125ml bottle, and this is very affordable. Um, this is just that kind of fragrance. It's leather. I featured this in my leather video. It has suede in here and it has patchouli, raspberry, and um, some boozy notes. But I don't really get a lot of the patchouli. Sometimes I get it, but most of the time I don't. This is just a boozy, fruity fragrance. And it you get the booziness, the alcoholic entrance to it uh, in the beginning of the scent. But as this one dries down, the raspberry gets sweeter and sweeter and sweeter. I don't know if there's such a drink as, you know, like any cocktail and you have frozen raspberries like in the drink is there such a drink like that i don't know i'm not really into cocktails and you know alcoholic drinks in general but this is just beautiful screams fall very sweet if you're into that this is very affordable as well this one actually smells very expensive but it's not a very beautiful boozy scent fruity boozy and if you love leather, you have leather in here as well. This is Elizabeth Arden, Fifth Avenue Royale. Next is Serge Luton's Shergi. This is an amber fragrance. It's a woody, sweet amber fragrance. I did not include this in my amber list because this has the beautiful incense that gives a very smoky vibe to it. It has tobacco in here as well. 
honey, tobacco, amber, incense, and hay. This I also included in my Four Seasons tag. I have heard so much about this fragrance last year when people talked about smoky fragrances because this has yes, tobacco, and incense, but again, it has all the other notes in here as well that can lean challenging for some people, especially the hay note. Luckily, like on my nose, like how I experienced this, it's just a beautiful scent. It has rose and it has musk as well. So it's a floral, woody, ambery, smoky, thick, syrupy kind of a fragrance. The next one that I have is another smoky tobacco fragrance. This one is Nirvana's Amethyst. It has honeysuckle, cedar, and tobacco. This one, it's a beautiful like cigarette kind of a scent. Um, it does give you that smoky tobacco feel to it, smoky scent to it. And it just so sexy in a way, even though it has that smoky tobacco scent to it, almost ashy, I have to say, but um, I really love this. This is just, you know, the whole look, the whole feel of the fragrance, the whole bottle, it looks like a lighter or a clutch or whatever. It's just so chic and I just imagine the Olsen twins, especially Mary Kate, you know, her with her fashion. It's just, I love it. And it's just perfect for fall. It's smoky, yes, it's tobacco, yes, but then it still has the beautiful, sweet floral from the honeysuckle and that beautiful cedar. So this is Elizabeth and James Nirvana Amethyst. The next one that I have is an oud leather fragrance. It's woody and aromatic. I included this in the list because even though it doesn't have any boozy notes directly or any smoky notes directly, like, tobacco or anything like that but because of the combination of woody notes and musk and leather and oud just gives me that very warm fall boozy feel to it this is dirty english by juicy couture i decided to finally get it after thinking about this one since last year this you guys is just a very sexy fragrance perfect for fall um this is a per ohm but i love to wear this one this is dirty english by juicy couture the last one for today's video this is another beautiful ambery vanilla but i included this in the list because this has beautiful combination of black pepper and incense that gives the vanilla that very smoky vibe to it this is divine Vanille by essential perfumes i love that it has you know the color has gotten golden and darker over time it's just my kind of scent you know it has black pepper and it's really you really do get it in the entrance of this fragrance um black pepper that's fresh spicy it has patchouli it has clary sage as well clary sage incense this one also has cedar and some woody notes in the base some musk vanilla of course this is just a nice smoky vanilla fragrance so it is not directly smoky from the tobacco note or anything like that it's smoky because of incense and the black pepper so the black pepper here performs similarly to how black pepper um, makes this one as a smoky fragrance but this one has added incense and the beautiful amber base benzoin and vanilla and musk cashmere and i love it so yeah, this is the last one for today's video. First, if you want something that's smoky, not your typical vanilla, Divine Vanille by Essential Perfumes. So that is it for today's video, you guys. I shared with you my boozy, smoky, and darker, deeper fragrances that I feel are perfect for fall. So thank you so much for watching today's video. Thank you for watching the last part of my fall fragrances series. If you haven't watched the other videos, I talked about Gourmand fragrances, Amber fragrances, and Floral fragrances. I will be linking them down below. And I do hope you guys go check them out. If you are a returning viewer, a regular viewer, a new viewer thank you so much for watching today's video thank you for spending a bit of your time watching today's content if you have reached this far in this video thank you so much it really means a lot to me if you are not subscribed to my channel yet i do hope you guys consider subscribing help this channel grow and when you do subscribe please don't forget to click the notification bell so you won't miss any of the new videos that i'll be putting out every week i do try to put out three videos every week mondays wednesdays and fridays so since my fall fragrances series is done, I will be doing my Halloween series. So next week, I will be talking about three fragrances and three creepy, spooky um, experiences that I've had and related to the fragrance. Won't be talking more about it, so it will be a surprise. I hope you guys join me for my Halloween series. I have very, very exciting content planned, perfume related and non-perfume related as well. Once again, thank you so much for watching today's video. Have fun, much love, stay safe, and see you in my next video.